good day uh, this is Jamal Johnson and uh, I'm doing this video following the interview of my son Dr. Umar Johnson on the Breakfast Club I believe it was yesterday or the day before and I'm doing it on purpose behind that because I want to address something that wasn't addressed during the interview and I'm not saying that he had to bring it up but I think that it's such an important topic in the black community that for it not to be covered at all was a disgrace. And what I'm talking about is a community gun violence. There's nothing said in that interview about the gun violence that's going on throughout all of the communities here in this country, in the major cities. It's just ridiculous that there could be an interview of anybody of importance in the black community, of anybody that has influence over the black community, and anybody that continues to interact with the black community, that the topic of the endless self-genocide of gun violence isn't even addressed. I listened to the interview. I'm not here to speak about my son's performance or the topics that they did speak about. The purpose of my video is to say that I think that the Breakfast Club has done a very great disservice in this interview and others where they don't address blatantly, especially to black personalities, the issue of gun violence when they're talking about the community and issues affecting the black community. Our children are killing one another in some of the highest rates ever, especially in my hometown and my son's hometown of Philadelphia. And I think that it's a disgrace and an insult that the Breakfast Club or any other well-known radio show or platform should claim to care and claim to address the issues concerning black America and our children and not speak on the gun violence. As a result, I felt compelled to just say something very short but very direct to members of the media who speak on issues pertaining to black America, to the influencers, whether they be of the conscious community or elsewhere, and to the parents that allow this carnage to go on in our communities and don't get involved. We will not be supported or respected in our efforts to stop gun violence unless and until we make it a priority. Just like the COVID crisis, the gun violence in our community should be a priority. When anybody speaks about our community, if they truly care, there's no way they should have a conversation without talking about the gun violence. In Philadelphia, we are approaching 170 homicides just in this year alone. I know that there are other major cities that are experiencing the same upward trend of homicides in their black communities. It is, it is just a lack of respect if this topic isn't always spoken about to, from, and by black people, especially on the national forum. We cannot expect other people and other media to address our problems as urgently or as seriously as we do. So I'm making this statement solely for the intent to say that there's no way my son should have been interviewed yesterday and the topic of the gun violence should not have been brought up. And that's to anybody that the Breakfast Club brings on. I do understand that the topic of my son's school is very important. I reached out to Charlemagne the God, asked him if he donated. I haven't gotten a response back. I've also tried to recruit my son and other well-known 
people of the so-called conscious community to engage themselves in our fight against the gun violence on our city streets so far have been unsuccessful. I will continue to do so. I actually text my son again today about this very problem. But make no doubt about it. It is up to us to address this problem. It is up to us to hold those accountable who claim that they represent us, no matter what level they represent us, financial, social, health, it doesn't matter. Gun violence affects every part of our life. Every part. It is a social problem. It is a health problem. It is a problem, period. And if we don't take it serious, we can't expect other people to. I appreciate your time. I hope that my message is clear. I hope that it motivates the Breakfast Club and others to address it more urgently, more seriously, and more thoroughly, and to join us in our efforts to stop it as much as we can. And I'm sure and I hope that my son will also become an active member in our efforts to address this problem. Thank you. Enjoy your day.